welcome back to tech Tapture. so in this our playlist mastering github action we'll see how we can automate terraform readme file creation using a github action workflow so in organization there will be a multiple terraform repository and maintaining the readme files the module details the number of input parameters required number of variables required so maintaining all these things is uh, not easy so we can use a automated way to create a readme file based on the terraform code using a github action workflow so we'll see how we can create and automate a readme file using a terraform and a github action workflow so let me go to the github action and let me create one new workflow which we can use to automate our readme file creation in a terraform so i am in my github action demo repository which we are using since our first video so in last video we created a ci cd pipeline to automate uh, infrastructure deployment on a uh, google cloud okay so now in this video we'll create one more workflow to automate a readme file creation using a github action workflow so we have a sample terraform code created here so here we have a simple storage bucket we created in our last video so what i will do i'll just modify or standardize our terraform code i'll just create one variable dot file one provider.tf file so our readme file will be well maintained okay so let me go and create dot tf and tfr file for below code i'm just getting these details from gemini instead of doing it manually so i'll create my own file so this will be my variable.tf file so let me go back and create a new file variables.tf okay so before that let me just disable my earlier terraform workflow because if we push half of the code it will fail okay so i'll just disable this terraform workflow which we created earlier okay now let me just paste it give me variables dot tf files okay so i'm creating a separate workflow for creating a readme file you can add the steps as well in your existing terraform ci cd pipeline but i am creating the separate workflow because in next video we'll reuse this in a multiple workflow so instead of making our code repeatable we'll reuse this workflow in multiple other workflow and here now we have to modify this as well as we are using the variables now so uh, we can modif modify our code so we can use okay this is our tfr so let me just instead of this i will just use this as a tfr okay first let me check what variables is a project location and bucket name these are only variable we are using so here i can use var dot project name let me check if it is correct project okay it is only project bucket name should be where dot bucket name where dot bucket name and location would be where dot us uh, where dot location okay so these are some variables we created in our variable files so let me save it okay and in tfr we have to put these values i'll just okay we don't need tfr because we have added a default values in okay so default values we already added in so here the default value should more should not be there as it is a bucket name so i'll just uh, remove it others default value we can add and we create tfr file
we'll just create terraform dot tfs so bucket name is one variable I'll just add here okay now we just okay well so we'll add a provider block Google provider block with version I'm just standardizing my Terraform code with the best practices okay so I'll just use this Terraform provider block I'll just add one more file I'll just give the name provider dot tf okay I'll just commit changes now we have a standard terraform modules like we have backend dot tf we have main dot tf provider dot tf variable dot tfs okay now I will go in a workflows and I will create one workflow to create our a readme file or automate a readme file creation so how I will do it so I am using this github action provided this is a custom action terraform docs custom action provided by github action so how to use it so they have provided the documentation so i'll just copy it or here it is also the same i'll just copy it okay so let's let's copy it from here so I already modified code for our requirement so let me use this one I'll explain you how it is working so I'll just create a new file here automate readme.yaml okay so I am just giving the name generate terraform docs on pushing on master branch job running on ubuntu latest runner and it is checkouting the code installing terraform docs using this action so this action is nothing but this github action we are using okay and then what it is doing it is creating the readme file it is indexing data and then it is pushing to the github now it might throw an error so i will show you how to resolve that error and why we are getting that error so it is on push so as soon as we commit changes our workflow will trigger so let's go to the action so create terraform automate readme is running let's go here this is running so it will fail at the last stage okay it failed write access to repository not granted unable to access this repository so we have to provide a right access to repository for our workflow as well so how we can provide it so this is failed now go to setting go to action go to general and here workflow permission so currently it is only a read permissions so we have to provide a read write permissions and save it let go back to actions okay and just uh, rerun this file now one more thing I want to show here let me just open a new tab duplicate tab here so here if you go to code this readme file is having only github action demo title nothing else okay so it will create automated readme our workflow will create automated readme so let me just uh, rerun all jobs and it will create a readme file for our terraform code okay so it is running okay everything is done and it also updated a readme file now let's go here and let me reload now now you can see it updated readme file requirement we need a google provider with this version here it mentioned module currently we created resource block so it is not giving the module so which resources we used google storage bucket my bucket if we are giving multiple it will mention 
now for bucket name it is mentioning a required variable because we didn't set any default value without giving the bucket name in tfr you cannot create output currently though no output we have created so if you have multiple complex modules as well it will create a readme file for you so in this way we can automate a readme file creation using our github action terraform doc action okay so hope you enjoyed this video and this is a very useful github action which you can implement in your CICD pipeline to automate a readme file creation so in next video we will see how we can reuse this readme file creation workflow in another our CICD pipeline so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in next video